Now, Sri Anurag Singh Thakur, Honorable Union Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Youth Affairs and Sports, will address through the video. Union Finance Minister, Shrimati Nirmala Sita Ramanji, my colleague in the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Dr. L. Muruganji, senior economists, industrialists and journalists participating in the first ever post budget DD conclave organized in Chennai and officers of Prasar Bharti, Doordarshan and All India Radio. Namaskar, Vanakkam, greeting to you all. At the outset, I take this opportunity to thank the Honorable Finance Minister, respected Shrimati Nirmala Sitaramanji, who could take out time from her busy schedule to be part of this interaction on the budget with the stakeholders and give her perspective on what it holds for different sectors of the economy. India and the world face tremendous challenges due to the unprecedented COVID pandemic, but timely vaccine development and delivery, policy interventions and welfare schemes have enabled India to make a significant economic recovery. India's economic growth is estimated at 9.2%, the highest among all the large economies of the world. This accelerated growth is being propelled by policy interventions and by also adopting innovative approaches to remove the bottlenecks in the path of the development. With special focus on infrastructure development, this year's budget has allocated Rs 7.5 lakh crore to capital expenditure. This is the highest ever allocation for infrastructure development in nearly two decades. The Gati Shakti approach driven by the seven engines, roads, railways, airport, ports, mass transport, waterways and logistics infrastructure will pull forward the economy in unison. This master plan for world-class infrastructure remains one of the main highlights of this in year's union budget. Talking of infrastructure, India's road network will be expanded by 25,000 kilometers. Imagine how these new roads, new metro projects, interconnected transport networks, new generation Vande Bharat trains, multi-model cargo terminals will take fruits of development to every corner of the country. I must add that farmers' welfare has always been a key priority for Modi government. And this year's budget is focused on ensuring assured income to farmers with 2.37 lakh crores towards direct payments for MSP to wheat and paddy farmers. From chemical free natural farming to Kisan drones for crop assessment, we want the best practices and technology to be available to our Annadatas, our Kisan, our farmers. In fact, I am grateful to the Honorable Finance Minister for the Centre's commitment to natural, chemical-free, organic and zero-budget farming. It is the third time in the last four budget speeches where zero-budget natural farming has found a mention. The Agriculture Infrastructure Fund will be made available to APMCs to improve infrastructure facilities. This shows our commitment for doubling the farmer's income even though we understand that states are equal partner in farmers' development. We are also committed to empowering our entrepreneurs and enterprises. Close to 1 crore 30 lakh MSMEs are being provided additional credit under the ECLGS scheme, Emergency Credit Line Guarantee Scheme. Our startup ecosystem is one of the best in the world. Every day, more and more young people choose to become job creators instead of job seekers. I must take this opportunity to put forth that our expanding digital ecosystem will help skill, reskill, or upskill through online learning. I am particularly excited about expanding one class, one TV channel program of PM e Vidya to 200 TV channels. Imagine during the pandemic, we started with 12, 
we are going to expand it to 200 TV channels under the PM e Vidya program. Digital India is achieving new milestones. E-passport, 5G, digital currency are all exciting possibilities to look forward in the future. The promise of Atmanirbha Bharat is very close to our Prime Minister's heart. The budget gives us new confidence to achieve self-reliance in diverse sectors. I mean, Atmanirbha Bharat in, in diverse sectors, particularly defense, where 68% procurement fund is earmarked for domestic industry. That means most of the products will be developed at the local level and that will be the key for the Atmanirbha Bharat, especially in the defense sector. Further, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Prayas remains our guiding principle and it is reflected in the budget. 3.8 crore households will get access to clean drinking water through Har Ghar Yojana. That means, Nal Se Har Ghar Ko Jal Dene Ka Kaam Hum Karenge. 80 lakh families will have a house of their own under PM Awas Yojana. A 50,000 crore rupees has been earmarked for that. National Digital Health Ecosystem is being expanded. These developments are vital for a prosperous new India. I must acknowledge that from industry to agriculture to health and sanitization, the budget has elaborate provisions for every sector. I would also like to state that this budget is not merely a financial statement. It has sought to lay the foundation of and give a blueprint to steer the economy over the next 25 years from the 75th years of independence to the 100th year of independence. Ajadi ka Amrit Mohasav, we call it Amrit Kal when we celebrate the centenary of Independence Day in 2047. National networks like Doodarshan operating at the regional level has special domestic significance as the relationship between the regional channels and the local communities, they serve a very strong and a based on the spirit of truth and trust. I am extremely happy that initiative such as DD Conclave has been taken by DD Padai Gai. In line with the role of a public broadcaster, I hope this platform provides a shared space for constructive discussions on different aspects of the implementation of the budget. And I am confident without any doubt that today's initiative will have engaging and fruitful discussions for the benefit of one and all. My best wishes for the successful organization of the DD Conclave. Let me first thank Dr. L. Morgan and the entire team of DD for organizing this event and all the participants, especially respecting Nirmala Sitaramanji. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. DD Conclave on Union.